Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and today we are doing a second fill my sketchbook with me painting. Today we're gonna make it super relaxing and we're gonna be painting some water-like strokes. Either way, it's a lot of fun and super relaxing, like I said. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so today I am back with another fill your sketchbook piece. Um, I want to keep it really, really simple today and just enjoy the way that watercolor moves and color. So I am going to open it up here. I the other day I was just swatching a bunch of turquoise and blues and because I did get back from vacation recently I just wanted to do like a solid kind of piece of just blues and turquoise kind of like an ocean not specifically waves or anything but just playing around with the color and what the watercolor does naturally so I'm just gonna open my sketchbook I have this clip from Amazon um, to hold it open and this is going to be really short and sweet today and I just want to play that is the whole point of this and for this video I'm going to use a softer brush so I got this from Paul Rubens it's a Phoenix kind of soft hair size 4 and these brushes are really good for holding water uh, so I thought I'd use this and I'm using my ultimate palette I'm just going to play around with a bunch of the turquoise colors and blues um, and just have fun so Sometimes when you just need to relax, it's a good idea to just, you know, play. So I'm just going to start by wetting up a lot of the background. Now, usually when you use a lot of water, like in a sketchbook like this, and it's not taped down or it's not a block, you'll get some buckling and warping with your paper. At this point, we're just trying to fill this journal and just have fun with it. And I wanted to create this kind of background just to... Maybe I could write something over top or write some thoughts later on. I don't know. But I just wanted to release kind of some pressure of, you know, creating something specific, but just like also enjoying the beauty that watercolor does on its own. So I'm just going to start with some cobalt turquoise light. Then I'm going to grab some other turquoise and look how it moves. This is the beauty of watercolor right here. Like, just look at that. And it kind of resembles water in its own way, right? Because it's moving through water. <laughs> um, I want a little bit more of this turquoise. Then you can do some waves if you'd like. And the reason why I wet up my paper to start is just because I find the watercolor um, blends easier when it's already wet. And then you get this fun wet on wet technique kind of effect. And this kind of looks like water. Like, look at that. And it's just so pretty. So I'm kind of trying to resemble water. I do want to do um, an ocean, like, water tutorial at some point. Because when I was on my trip, I was on the boat and I was just looking at the ocean and it was so beautiful and just kind of trying to understand the waves and how to paint them. And I didn't get a chance to actually do it when I was there, but I would love to give it a try. Well, this is like indigo, I think. Yeah. Maybe just some darker ones. I'll try and move this a bit. And if you get some of those kind of blooms or cauliflower little marks, that's okay. Actually, it's a great technique to use when you are creating waves or an ocean piece, like a little bit more of an abstract one. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't tape it down. Okay. Um, trying to figure out what colors are in my palette. <laughs> I use a little bit of darker ones. And I'm just kind of going back and forth. Just playing around. And it just looks so pretty. I 
And then what you can do to get some lighter areas, wash off your brush. Don't have too much water on it, but a little bit. And then you can just do the same kind of movements with just water and it will end up pushing away some of the pigment there and create lighter marks. Or you can even splatter some water, which ends up looking really cool too. I want to get a little bit of a darker blue in here. And sometimes you just need to lay down color on a page. And that's how I'm starting my morning off today. So it's about nine o'clock as I'm filming, not even nine o'clock, it's 8.30 in the morning as I'm filming this. I'm about to start my work day and I needed some sort of kind of watercolor therapy to start my day off. And so I thought, you know what, let's just create some blues, pick single color and just make a blue background kind of resembling waves. And if you want to resemble waves a bit more, I like to do these little peaks where it's like light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, like that. And you just get these kind of flat wave type shapes. Which I said, like I will do a better tutorial, but see how it already looks like waves. I think we're doing waves now. <laughs> and you can just keep layering and layering. And as I'm picking up color, my, my brush is, is damp. It's not too, too wet. Um, so the color is laying down nicely and I'm not getting crazy watermarks. So if you're ever having trouble with um, water control, just tap your brush on your paper towel and make sure that there's not a lot of water on it and just pick up the paint. Okay, so make sure your paint's already wet so you can pick it up properly. But that should help. Because what happens when, you're, when your brush is too wet, when you try and do this, it's going to leave a lot of watermarks and then that's going to repel the pigment and push away and it's going to be lighter there. Now I'm going to leave it there because that's not a bad thing, especially when we're doing something like this where it's a bit more abstract kind of. But if you're struggling with your, uh, oh my goodness, your water control, that's why your brush is just too wet. So kind of just try and take off some of that pigment just by tapping it on your paper towel and you should be able to release it. Okay, I really like this. This is just really relaxing to do. So I'm gonna just kinda continue here. It's not a crazy intricate tutorial today or anything, but this is just my morning relaxing meditation. And you can stop or continue for as long as you want. Decide when you're done. And my last piece about that is that a lot of people say, how do you know when you're done? How do you know when to stop? Um, sometimes you just gotta make mistakes and keep going to realize, oh, I should have stopped. <laughs> um, but it, it's up to you. Sometimes it's good to just leave it Maybe give yourself a time limit if you are someone who overthinks things and does a bit too much. But as long as this paper's wet, I'm gonna just kind of continue to do these marks. Maybe I'll do some like little water splatters again. Um, but yeah, this is about playing and just learning and having fun and experimenting. So do it as long as you like. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue a bit and I hope you guys enjoy it.
and there we go. So there is my kind of sparkly water piece. So I did take a little bit of white watercolor and just tap it on there as well. Um, and if I wait for it to dry, it will be a little less uh, blurred and a little bit more sharper. So you can get these kind of like little, little white flecks, which I think would look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that's so much fun to do. It's honestly such a good way to start your day to just lay those colors down, let little imperfections, which are not imperfections. So like, as you can see here, there's kind of like this interesting pattern. Um, and that's because it's dry here, but wet here. So it kind of separates and creates this uh, line. But when, so when you create something like this, I like that effect. I like when it doesn't look perfectly blurred out or, or whatever. So enjoy those little imperfections, learn from them. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.